hello everyone welcome back to my channel Porchy Tech so here as you can see what I have in front of me here the Apple Watch SE all right and this has just been released by Apple and on my channel you can see that I have the unboxing video so on the, in this video we're gonna be doing the setup of the Apple Watch all right so this is the SE version uh, sorry about the sound there in the background that's a baby right there so this watch as I told you before in my other video the unboxing if you go ahead and watch that one you can see that I got this watch for her this is a gold version the 40 millimeter and this has the cellular service on there as well all right as you can see with the red circle on the ring here so that shows that it's a cellular version so we're gonna go and just go ahead and set all that stuff up on this watch today so bef but before I get into this video please head on down below hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and turn that notification bell on to get notified when I have uploads on this channel okay so we're gonna go ahead first thing we're gonna do is power this Apple watch on all right so let's turn that on booting up as you can see the Apple logo is right here Alright, so let's let this boot up here. Alright, so now we are booted up. Shows that we should bring the watch close to the phone, as you can see. So let's bring it close to the phone here. Let's open the phone. Uh, Alright, so this is my wife's 11 Pro and here you can see the apple watch popped up at the bottom of the phone screen here all right so we're gonna hit continue and we have this we got a watch english united states so depending on depending on where you are in the world then you could put in that country or that region so we're gonna start pairing all right we're gonna go set up for myself and right, we're gonna put this in the frame of the phone let's put the watch right here have that image in the box all right so this is saying a software update is available for this watch update update now to continue setting up so we're gonna update it because we don't want to run into any issues while setting up our device so I'm gonna go ahead go ahead and get this updated all right so we hit update now and i'm pretty much sure this is going to take a little while so what i might do here let's see if, let's see what's going to happen on the next screen but um he's saying activating apple watch let's, this may take a few minutes so let's let this do its thing go through its paces and we'll just wait it out and see what happens Alright, so now it's checking for software update. Your Apple Watch is peered, so we're gonna go ahead and set up Apple Watch. So we're gonna hit that and go forward. Alright, so yeah, ask which on which which wrist do you, you wear your Apple Watch? So we're gonna put left right now. Dad, Dad. Agree. Alright, so we're signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. Let's see here. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Alright, so rig work out route tracking. Pretty much I'm not sure we're gonna use that, but I'm gonna enable it for now. Shoot settings, okay. Alright, so we have the text, bold text and size. Let's leave it at default. We're gonna hit continue. All right, so it says create a passcode. We're gonna leave that out for now. Go forward by hitting don't add passcode. All right, so activity, set up activity. We're gonna skip this step. Um, keep your Apple Watch up to date. So this is where we have, it says get the latest features, security and improvements by updating watchOS automatically. So we're gonna have that set up. So we hit continue emergency SOS 
So this is where your Apple Watch would pretty much dial someone in your emergency contact or dial the 911 from your watch if you have any fall and the watch detects a fall. So we're gonna hit continue. So this is the cellular setup here. So here is a cellular setup. So we're gonna hit that. Let's that set up right away. so here it's asking for the last four of the social on your account so this is the t-mobile we have i have we have t-mobile so we're gonna put in the last four of the social that's on our account so i'm gonna do that put that in behind the camera and we're gonna hit done hit continue all right so it says select a qualified data plan so on our plan it's ten dollars per month for the service for this watch all right so to add this to our plan it adds an extra ten dollars to our plan and this is going to give us the unlimited data unlimited access unlimited um, access to, to um, data on our plan all right so let's go forward with this we're going to hit continue all right these are all the terms and agreements right here so we're gonna pretty much click that continue all right so it says thank you for your purchase we have sent you a confirmation on your purchase so this is showing that we've successfully added this watch to our t-mobile account and we're good to go as far as data and our sell service on this watch so let me continue set up here go through the next steps so let's hit continue again right here so he says if you want to install the available apps on your watch that's on your phone so let's go ahead and do that and get it out of the way all right so let's install all and it just popped up the message there from t-mobile that um the watch was added so let's install this all right so the apple watch is now syncing which means it's syncing all your contacts your um apps that you have on your app uh, your iphone is going to sync all those to your watch so it's pretty much the watch is going to mirror your phone so this is going to take, take a little while so i'm just going to go ahead and pause this video and come back when this is completed all right so hang in there i'll be right back all right so i see a little message popped up on the phone here saying your apple id and phone number are now being used for imessage and facetime on a new apple watch so this is showing some good signs here that stuff is getting ported over from the phone to the watch so let's hit okay right here and it's gonna continue syncing so not sure how long this is gonna take I might just fast forward all of this all right so now we're at the next step so it says welcome to Apple watch so here we're gonna hit ok I'm, I guess on the it says tap to select swipe to scroll and move on the watch so it says press and hold to change the watch face and tap and swipe top top edge of the screen to see your notification so it's pretty much the same functions as the iphone so we hit ok on the phone takes us to the apple watch app here and we're gonna hit done on the watch so it says your watch is ready press the digital crown to start so here's the crown which is the round thing right here on the side so we're gonna hit that and you feel, you feel a little vibration here and it takes you to the watch face which looks really nice here it says wi-fi calling emergency address updated so hit ok so it shows that you could pull down here to see notifications and you can see them right here so all the messages that came on the phone missed calls and everything you'll see that right here all right so now this is the face that's on the watch all right so you can see here and on the app on the phone it has my watch with this so it's going to show the face that you have here 
and this shows Jessica's Apple Watch which is my wife's watch and phone so I'm doing this setup for her here and you're benefit benefiting from this as well because I was able to get this on camera so you can see how to do it all right so now we're gonna go to the watch face gallery okay so now we're gonna go ahead and open back up the Apple watch app here on the phone see if it moves a little better this time because it was freezing up a little while ago so let's go to face gallery we're gonna go to Memoji see it's working a little better here so since this is a gold watch let's see Memoji so this is my wife's Memoji right here so we're gonna go ahead and add that and pretty much see if we could get a color that goes well with the color of this watch face plus the band all right so this looks similar to the watch color that gold right there so we're just gonna add this for now boom and then we're gonna go to my watch right here go back right there and go to the top and you should see that so we're gonna use this one we're gonna have that one added so we can choose this on the watch right here so what you'll do is open the watch boom it's already there if you want to go back to the default you're just gonna hold this the hold one on the screen right here and you can scroll left or right to choose the different watch faces so I have currently have two faces on here so that's the default that came on the watch and I just added this one right here so it has the date and time so what what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, battery percentage so you can see what's the percentage of the charge you have on your phone so at the this it has the middle shows the date so you can see in the middle here it has the date and the time so we're gonna have at the bottom of the watch you can add something so it shows off right here at bottom so at bottom we're gonna put the percentage all right so we're gonna have battery right here so when you put battery it's gonna have the battery status right here at the bottom of the watch so here we go it shows 76% on the battery all right so the battery has 76 percent charge okay all right let me go back it's all right so we have complications here we have notifications you can go in and set that up so notification indicator is on and you can get notification for just about anything you can turn it on or off in the app right here all right let's go to app view you can have the grid which is looks like this like a circle and you can go through them or you can go ahead and have list view and they're listed in alphabetical order like this and you can scroll up or down to find the apps but you can keep it in grid view so you can actually see the icons as you move around and you can grab it pretty easily and open the apps that you need right away all right so let's go back go again so you have general right here in which you can check your software update get information about your watch you can turn all the settings a few settings on and off like airplane, airplane mode do not disturb your watch orientation which when we were doing the setup on this watch we had it set to left wrist you could go ahead and change that to the right from here if you want to all right so set up from your apple id background app refresh and all that so wake screen you can have wake on wrist raise or auto launch app so you can have wake for 15 seconds you can turn that on for less if you want to on tap all right so wake on wrist raise that's good so when you pretty much have the watch on and you turn your hand like this it opens all right so wake on crown up you want to turn that off because it's gonna pretty much as soon as you uh, mess with the crown sometimes or if you turn the watch a certain way it's gonna come on all right and you can have auto launch audio apps you can turn that on or off but I'm gonna leave that on for now all right so it says return to clock after two minutes that's fine if you want to have that set up all right 
so we have nightstand mode nightstand mode you can use the apple watch as a nightstand clock while it's charging uh, we're gonna leave that off because we pretty much already have a nightstand all right all right enable dictation so dictation what it does it says information like your voice input contacts and location to apple um, to process your requests we're gonna leave that on all right so we have cellular it shows that we're on t-mobile right here okay so that shows that the watch is activated we have display and brightness so the brightness is pretty much set halfway text size we're gonna leave that at default because it's really crisp and nice at that size so we have Siri as well we're not gonna set that up as yet all right okay so we have a lot of different settings in here vision you could pretty much read through all those see if something there fits your need you can always change it Siri sorry about that the baby's making sound in the background uh, we have Siri we're not gonna go ahead and set up that set that up as yet we have also sound and haptics so we have silent mode so silent mode will not mute alarms and timers while Apple watch is charging all right So we can have this to vibrate if we want to, which is silent mode. All right, so we have silent mode, silent mode off. So now we have, it's gonna vibrate if you happen to call this watch. All right, so haptic alerts is on. All right, reduce loud sounds, we have that off. So we're gonna leave this to prominent here. You can feel the crown vibrates a little aggressive more aggressive we have privacy as well we're gonna leave that heart rate fitness tracking is on all right so we're gonna leave all those on and there's a ton of other um, stuff you can set up in the watch you can add more custom watch faces I just choose chose to add this one there's a whole ton of them here that you can use to customize your watch to make it look the way you want to or the way you please so what we're gonna do here I'm gonna make a test call to my wife's phone and make sure this phone works this watch works and so if the phone rings and the watch rings then we're good to go all right so I'm gonna go ahead make a call ring this phone right here so I'm gonna go ahead and call my wife's number as you can see the phone's ringing and it's ringing on the watch as well so you can answer in either one of these all right all right so we're gonna close the screen and you can also in the settings here tweak this if you want to have the watch vibrate if you want to have sound or whatever you want to have done on your watch so let's go ahead and turn this on I'm gonna go ahead and turn on sound and haptics and we're gonna take silent mode back off and we're gonna have the vibrate feature on the phone put it on vibrate and we're gonna call this phone again and the watch should actually vibrate right so let's wait to unlock put in my face ID and let's call my wife again all right so here we go watch is ringing and it's vibrating as well so that shows that everything is good to go and hope this helps you out in setting up your watch all right so thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day thank you very much and remember before you get out of this video head on down below turn on your subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified as soon as i have another upload mm -hmm.